Oh, so <laughs> I surprised myself then. <laughs> I didn't think it had gone on. I thought I'll just yawn first and it's on, so sorry about that. Um, right, yeah, it was a funny day yesterday. I have um, was went to a funeral. Uh, fortunately, I've not been to many, but it was... Um, a guest who I got to know on when I used to work for Jason Vale on his retreats and she's been to my retreats a few times unfortunately she had breast cancer and she died it was just so sad it really is sad um but yeah it was just weird as well being alcohol free it was the most, probably first really big challenge yesterday I feel really selfish talking about myself now after you know, I've just been mentioned in Julie's funeral and anything else pales into insignificance, but it's, you know, life does go on. And um, yeah, usually at the funeral, I, at the wake afterwards, I'd have had at least, in the time I was there, only about an hour and a half, I'd have had at least three large glasses of white wine. And then one of my friends came up from London who'd got to know her as well. And so we went, she was staying in a hotel in Manchester. And so I went back with her and I'd have probably bought a can of Strongbow or something to have in the car. And then I'd have, we went out in Manchester and I'd have had another three, four, five large glasses of wine. Got the train home, I'd have probably bought another little bottle to have on, you know, one of those small ones to have on the train. And Sam would have picked me up from the, um, well, not airport, what is it? A train station. <laughs> Come on, Sally. A train station, I'd have just been in a crap state, tired and pissed, that was the worst state I used to get in. And I didn't, I just obviously didn't drink at all and we went into a bar and had two fever tree tonics. My friend had bought some little bottles of seed lip up and I tried it the weekend and we just poured that in and it was lovely. And we went for a meal and I just had water and I tell you, Brucey bonus is the cost of everything is so much cheaper. You know, and then I just worked on the train. I replied to some of your messages. And it, it's a huge difference. It really is. And, yeah, I'm sorry. I think this post isn't what I meant it to be about. Sorry. I'm just... But anyway. So, yes, that was a... It was a strange day yesterday. Really sad and strange because I didn't deal with it like I normally would, which would be to get pissed quite a lot and I never so um, thank you Julie so yes I just what I was going to talk about was uh, this my, I can't get me head I'm really sorry this mindfulness stuff and getting up in the morning um, on the other page on one year no beer plus you're more accountable and to oh, should I start again? <laughs> I'm tempted, you know, and I'm just, I'd, I'd start my mindfulness last week, um, a meditation using that, the Calm app, can you see that? The Calm, and I did it like four days, and then I went and forgot, I literally forgot, and then I didn't do it, and I've not done it since, and it drives me mad, I'm determined to crack it, and you can be more accountable on the other page, on one year no beer plus, so I'm going to do it. And also having a morning routine. Mine's gone by the wayside. And I need to get, I've mentioned this before, miracle morning. You know, and I really do. So I need to start with that. Although I got up and talked spinning at half six this morning. That was miraculous in itself. So I've got another couple today. But yes, I just need to, because what I'm finding I'm doing, I'm all over the place. And one thing I've not had the benefit of yet with not drinking a lot of people say, oh, and I've got all this energy and I've, I'm doing loads more. I'm really not. I'm, I'm, my head's still all over the place. You know, I'll think I need to do this. Like me emails, for instance, I get shed loads of emails and I don't delete them and I just leave them there. And there's thousands of them and I unsubscribe from ones I don't want to. And I just want to sort it out. It's creating white noise in my head. But I, I think I spend a lot of time thinking I must do it, but I don't do it. And that's not like me, so I need to just crack on. So I'm going to go. I just, and my head is all over the place. So I've got, I'm stood in my bedroom. This is where I keep this book. Oh, look at that. This is Ace. Now is the time. 
I've shown you this before as well. I'm on repeat. <laughs> what do you expect when I'm still here after 60 odd days? I'm oh, still a notification, right? And I just open it sometimes. I think the universe needs me to read it and reflect. So, reflect. Find some quiet time and a serene space. Embrace the solitude. Allow your mind to unwind and your unconscious thoughts to roam free. Follow them as they wander and surrender to the journey. That's what I need to do. That's my calm up. It's just reminding me, that's the universe reminding me, reminding me to listen to my own bullshit I keep coming out with. So I'm going to. So I'll have a great day, yes, and just be thankful. Get a morning routine done and honestly, get over to One Year No Beer Plus if you're not on it. You'll like it, but you know, you will be more accountable, but that's what we need. All right then, cheerio, bye.